Okay, everybody. So, um, good afternoon. I know it's a little bit later than, um, uh, 2.30. However, we're going to start, um, we're going to start it up now. Okay, so, what's going to happen is, First of all, um, we're going to be um, listening to a couple videos, okay? Um, and one of those videos is going to be um, a book trailer on the book that we're going to be starting today, which is going to be Everlast. Okay, so here we go. So I'm going to set that down here, and hopefully... It'll work. Oh, come on. Alright, I haven't the patience for this thing. <laughs> Seriously. Okay. Alright. Uh, well, we're going to do that another time. Okay, so. Alright, so we'll do it in the living room coming up later. Okay, now. Here's how today is going to sizzle, okay? Um, we're not going to be reviewing the Gemini song, um, the, um, the Gemini theme song, not the Gemini Am I from Just Peachy. Um, we're not going to be reviewing it, and we're also not going to be learning new stuff today. We'll be learning new stuff tomorrow, okay? Which is still Gemini season, by the way, if you ask me. <laughs> okay, and so today, 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 what I want from all of you right now is we're going to be moving on to the checkout, okay? So the book checkout. So what's going to happen is downstairs, downstairs in the basement, there is um, a really, really long white table. Or maybe there's two tables down there. I really don't know. I have not gone down there because my curators are setting it up and I have not been down there. So we'll see. But the procedures are very, very simple. What's going to be happening is you're going to grab um, a random copy of the book, just um, you can use any copy from any table. There is going to be certain individuals whom you should know. Um, um, that is going to be Helena because she's still here right now. There was another individual who just arrived from the man mainland not really um but so i did tell you that deborah was not here today she was not going to come here today well she did arrive here today she did come here today and she said that she'd be here until the 30th so she'll be here uh, for the remainder of june so she'll be doing so there'll be one person which is my um, curators. I mean, there's going to be several curators um, at several different stations of different book piles. And, and Deborah will be at one of those book piles. And I will also be at another of those book piles on either one or two of those tables. Okay? So there's either one or two tables. Um, what's going to happen is when you get the book, um, I want you to open it up and put your first and last name, and then what's going to happen is, just like a library book, you're going to be putting in the return date of that book, which you're not going to be doing that, actually. You're not going to be doing that, okay? Um, and, and I'm going to be stamping it. I'm going to be stamping in the very, very beginning page of the book, I mean, you know, why did you open up, you know, you know, from the cover of it, okay, just as a little reminder, the books will look like this, and copies have been ordered, and, 
Um, and so, um, I've ordered, I mean, me and my curators have ordered copies. And so they just arrived here in boxes on, um, on nail trains right here. And so, you know, they've unloaded them, they got tables out, they set them up. So, you know, there's no, there's probably going to be some lines that you're going to have to wait in, but uh, I think that, you know, you can just grab any of that and book it really does not matter. There's no particular, um, you know, like, you know, the books don't have your name. But when you get the book, you're going to, you know, put your name inside the books. And that is your responsibility. Treat it like it's your own. Don't lose it. Don't throw it. Don't break it. You should be fairly logical with all of those things. I should not have to go through, like, you know, different procedures. Okay, so, um, what's going to happen is we're going to line up at the door. I'm going to bring you down there, you're going to do it, and then after we're done doing it, then we'll move on to the next thing, okay? Are we all ready to go? Okay, follow me. It smells good. Yeah, what fine. are you making? I'm Key making lime pie. pie. Oh, yeah. Maybe I can help you. Well, here, I'm doing... Okay. How about you tell me? Okay. Okay, maybe 15. Okay, everyone. All right. Okay, now all of you can go into the womb, okay? All of you can head into the womb, okay? Right over there, and then check out your copy, and then I will be in there. And there will be procedures that will occur, and then you'll take all your copies of, um, you know, of your book upstairs, and we'll move on to the next step, okay? So... Um, I think it's going to be pretty clear. Okay, so, um, go on in now, please. And this is, by the way, just set up for all of you. It's not set up for anybody else. Um, well, I lied. It is. So, this is the deal. Is that they've each had their own individual times, because there's so many mentioned that studio, and there's so many copies of the book. And, you know, you can't put that many people in the one room, so we divided it into two groups. And you're one of those groups that's going on right now. Okay, and there's plenty of copies left. There was one that went before, and this is the second group. We're the second group. Okay? Um, so, um, now, you can all go in and do the, you know, fill out the procedures. Okay? Wonderful. Okay, we have the books. Now, um, what's going to happen is, the next things that I want to talk about, um, we have a couple of videos to watch, but I want to do them in the living room, because I, I don't want to have to deal with this thing here, okay? So we're going to get lined up again, we're going to head into the living room. Okay, are we ready to go? Okay, wonderful. You can all sit, find places to sit. There's plenty of places to sit, and if you want, you can pull chairs out of any other room or the kitchen. And by the way, you can all um, leave your copies in the sunroom. Okay, so if you didn't, if uh, if your book copies are not in there, 
okay, because you're not going to need them. You're just going to watch a couple of videos up here. Then, then go right now and put them back, okay, in your place where you're sitting or standing, okay? Okay. Now, I'm going to get this set up. So, as just a little reminder, we're going to be seeing two videos. One of which is going to be a book trailer, okay? Over this book, the, um, I'm the Everlost, okay? And I'll also be reading to you the descriptions, um, and, you know, of what it says, um, if you're struggling to read that. And also, we're going to be, um, probably listening to a song as well, you know, that song that I was talking to you about in Perfect Harmony, which is going to tie into one of the characters in the real setting of the book that's going to start Chapter 2. Um, yes. We'll get to that. We'll get to that song on um, the, um, what's it called? What's it called? Both sides now. Okay, that's what it's called. Okay. Now, you can all sit down, get comfortable, because we're going to see this. Okay, here it is. Here it is. Here is the book trailer. So, I'm going to turn it up if we need to turn it up. Okay? So, I don't know if you can see the words or not. So, what if you died? What if you didn't? Which would be worse? Me and Nick and Allie, those are the two main characters. Trapped in the Emerald Lost. With other spirits who didn't make it. Do they keep trying to find their way to the light? Okay, and it's a uh, book series, but we're not going to be reading. Okay, so now that we've seen that, it's just a little preview of the book. Okay, um, now we're going to, I never really seen that before. We're going to be listening to um, a little song, okay?
And this song is going to be, um, hopefully, um, let's see. So this is the song that we're going to be listening to. So um, it's Within Temptation in Perfect Harmony. And you're not going to see it yet because we haven't read the book yet. But as we're going through, I just want you to see how um, the reason of me behind playing this song. And you're going to see how it ties in. Setting and character and story. So, um, so I just want you to hear it, okay? It's a little ad here. Okay, in perfect harmony. talking about the place, like the setting of Everlast. This is kind of a spoiler end of the setting and characters and story of the book, but I hope not. It's this picture right here, this forest. Some of this isn't really true, but it applies. telling the character of the story.
Okay. So that was good. Okay, so um that song that song that you heard, um, you're going to see um you know, it was just pretty. I thought it was beautiful and you know the lyrics really told a story. Um and it was just gorgeous. Um and you're gonna see you know, so that basically is kind of a little spoiler into some of what the story is going to be about, you know, especially the second chapter. I've gone, um, I've read, you know, a little bit into the book already, so I know, but I'm not telling you about anything. So, uh, I just want you to hear that, okay? Now, we're going to head into the sun room for the next thing. Over time, we're going to be, um, Connecting the story back to those lyrics and finding out, you know, especially which ones are true, which ones are, which ones apply, which ones don't apply. And not everything in the lyrics, um, I think that the very, very beginning lyrics were not very true. But then it got into the main melody, and from then on, I think that everything was on point true um, with that story. Okay, so, um, we have that. We have that accomplished. So, now we're going to talk about what, um, we're going to be actually starting to read it. Okay, so we're going to be, um, this is going to be the very, very first chapter. And it is the short, I, I think it's the shortest chapter, if I'm not mistaken. Because it doesn't give a contents page of, you know, because it it's, it, it's divided into parts. And I don't know, um, you know, because it doesn't tell you, like, it doesn't have a contents page to it. So I don't really know um, how long the chapters are, because they tell you, like, from one, like, the start of one chapter, and then, um, and then the next one, uh, um, and then, you know, gives the numbers down the side. So, um, let's actually start. Okay, let's, um, um, let's begin. So, uh, um, what I want you to do is, and also, we just want to make sure that this is tight enough. So, I'm not going to tell you how that ties into the story, but that's the real, um, that's one of the, I mean, you know, one of the major parts of the story, you know, especially the picture that we, um, I mean, that you were looking at, um, from the song, it had a forest in it, and the forest is really going to be a really, really important setting piece in the story, okay, so... Um, also hence, um, the front cover of it, okay? Um, let's see here. So, now, um, we're going to start at the beginning. Um, what I'll also be doing is, because I'm going to be reading the first chapter, but I might not always read all the chapters out loud to you, Okay? Um, I might ask you to read one or two on your own. I might ask you to read one on your own, maybe two on your own if they're especially short. Um, I might ask you to read the chapter back through if I want you to kind of imagine it um, um, on your own, not enjoy the market picture and cuckoo clock and that, you know, that men life and nice stuff telling. But so anyway... Um, let's see here. Um, yeah, so, um, that's what's going to be happening. So, we're going to be, I'm going to be starting off reading the very, very first chapter. And this is going to be one where I want you to go back in on your own, and I want you to read it, like, on your own so that you, and you, you can experience it, and you can try to, you know, as best you can, put yourself in a situation and try to imagine 
um, you know, how it looks and how it'll feel. Okay? Um, I did feel like the trailer we listened to was a good one. But I will confess that I think that when, like, if you decide to make a book trailer, I would rather you be very, very vague about the book and intrigue me. And then I'd be sitting there and then just waiting and waiting and waiting and I just, you know, you know it's just, I'm so incredibly impatient. You always know, oh, I want to get the book. Oh, I want to wait. I'm so, it's like, I'm incredibly excited and I'm going impatient. Rather than watching it and it being very, very detailed and adding in little details that kind of spoil. So that's one thing that you really need to um, really need to think about when um, you are doing book trailers um, is if you decide to make one. And that's kind of difficult for me because maybe if I was doing one um, you know that I wouldn't be posting to the world then and if I read the book, yeah, I, I, you know, I'd be very, you know, a little bit more detailed about it, you know, very more explanatory, um, but have enough information where it just gives just the, like the, just the synopsis, like the vague synopsis of the story. There's no little details in there. Um, and it talked about um, McGibbon, or um, McGillan, and I wanted to find that out, you know, for myself. But I already found out, you know, if you read, like, the, you know, little, you know, descriptions that, um, I mean, he's a pilot of some sort. So that's one thing that I was just talking to you about, okay? But who are you to know? Who are you to know when you go on watching videos? You know, that person did not write in the description, warning, spoil, spoiler alert, or don't, I mean, you know, just a little warning at the beginning saying don't watch this if you haven't read the book. Um, so, um, let's see here. Um, we're actually going to begin at the very, very beginning. So, uh, it's divided into parts. It's dividing parts. Actually, what I want you to do is I want you to um, open the book, open the book up to where it says part one. Okay, part one. And part one says um, after lights, after lights. Okay. Um, so after lights. That, um, that's part one. So then turn to the next page. And chapter one is on the way to the light. On the way to the light. Now, I'm going to be reading this in a really, really dramatic, you know, kind of a dramatic voice. And what I'm going to do is you're going to notice that I might slow down a little bit. I might slow down a little bit because, um, you know, here's the thing. Is I... Am better off when someone when, um, when I'm reading it on my own because a lot of the times when I'm having a book or a story a short story poem read aloud to me like I can't actually you know imagine it and uh, enjoy it and, and, and you know, really comprehend the story very, very well because just, you know, you know, rushing, 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 and I want to go at my own pace when um, those kind of circumstances arise. So I can understand that. I will slow down to give you and me enough time to, you know, kind of process and try to imagine and think about, um, and think about what's being read. And here's the other thing that I have to say, is that I probably will admit that, you know, don't, like, don't get frustrated that you can't imagine something or that you can't empathize with something. At least try to, you know, maybe read them on your own and try to sit down and think about it a little bit. You know, that's what I, um, on what I do. 
Because the thing is, going from looking at the page and then going in your mind and having to imagine it. So that's one of those things. I'm not going to call it negative because that's the equivalent of saying, throwing this whole plan that I have out the window. So I'm not going to go down that road. Okay? Um, so 